All right, welcome back. So this lab is to test your independent skill knowledge on using UV Viz to prepare standard curves um, and Beer's Law relationship to take their absorbance of them and correlating that with their concentration to prepare a standard curve and determine the concentration um, of some type of analyte in an unknown sample. All right. So this particular lab, again, are, you are to be working independently, um, not seeking help from any online source or any other person or communication with anyone. And again, um, you sign the bottom of your evaluation sheet um, authenticating that you are upholding to those standards. And um, I'm trusting that you will do that so that I can still include these skill points in your grade. Okay. So the objective of the lab that we're going to be doing is I'm giving you two coffee samples and we're going to figure out the concentration of caffeine in the coffee. All right. So um, the purpose of the lab that is listed on the lab manual is you're going to prepare a standard curve. So you make a graph, determine the concentration in molarity and in mass percent. This is going to be mass over mass okay, of caffeine in two different coffee samples. Okay, so um, even though I'm doing the lab for you, I still want you to do some of the calculations. If you're doing the in-lab, then obviously you'll be recording those observations and numbers and things like that. But for the evaluation sheet, I do want you to still, you, you still include the volumes in the, um, the table at the top for making the standard solutions. So the first thing you're gonna do is you wanna, um, of course, read the, uh, the procedure and the information in the lab. Um, you're going to calculate the volumes needed to make the standard solution. So I've already made them for you, but you're going to calculate them out so you can put them in that table on the evaluation sheet. Um, you're going to show your work, okay? So if you're doing an, an in-lab for this lab, you're going to show that work in your notebook. And regardless, I want you to include the calculations on your evaluation sheet um, as part of that table um, for making up the standard solutions, okay? All right. So the other information that you need, um, everything else you can kind of read in the lab manual there and figure out what's going on. But the other important information you need is information about the coffee samples, okay? <clears throat> so I took um, two different samples of coffee. One is a McCafe French Vanilla Arabica coffee, okay? And I measured out about one gram of each one. So the McCafe coffee is 1.013 grams I weighed out, okay? And then I also took some Green Mountain breakfast blend that's a decaf light roast and I weighed out 1.002 grams of that coffee. So there's two coffee samples, <clears throat> right? I then took the masses and I put them in some filter paper and I got some hot water. Okay, so I took 50 milliliters of hot water and I poured it over the um, one grams of each of these approximately to make the coffee sample. Okay, I'll show you what that looks like here in a minute. Okay, so we have a final amount of 50 milliliters of coffee solution, all right? So you need that information at the end when you do your calculation. All right, so now um, I'll give you a little bit more information about the setup. And then once I have all of the, um, the solutions or the standard solutions are made, the coffee samples are being made right now. Um, then we're gonna measure the absorbance of all of them on the UV Viz spectrophotometer, okay? and we'll get our absorbances, we'll use the concentrations of our standards, we will make a standard curve in Excel and you'll email that with me, to me, along with um, your other um, report sheet, evaluation sheet, and results discussion in lab, anything else that you have to include. And once you make the curve, then we're gonna calculate the percent of caffeine, molarity of caffeine, and then you're gonna convert that to percent of caffeine. Okay, so just a little bit more information on the final calculation for the lab. All right, your standards of caffeine, if you look at the unit in the lab manual, you are actually making them up in molarity. So I've already uh, prepared all of those, they're in molarity. So the units on your x axis, I mean, we're hitting here on your calibration curve, is going to be in molarity, right? Okay, but the final unit you want to report caffeine in the unknown to coffee samples is in percent. All right, so you're gonna be converting molarity, moles per liter, this is moles of caffeine per liters of coffee solution. You're gonna figure out that conversion factor, right? 
I'm going to go from moles of caffeine to grams of caffeine. That's pretty easy, right? You're giving some information about the structure of the caffeine molecule and its molecular weight there, all right? And then liters of coffee solution, right? Liters of the solution. This is liters of um, the coffee solution that we're measuring the caffeine in. We got to go from liters to grams of coffee, okay? So you have some information that I gave you about the coffee. You have the mass of the coffee I weighed out and how much um, water I poured over it to make up a coffee solution. So you need to use um, that information for your calculation. Finally, then you're gonna multiply it by 100% to get the percent of um, caffeine in those two samples, okay? Okay, so in regards to what um, is due um, that you're going to turn in for this lab. Uh, you're going to turn in an in lab, a snapshot of your recording on your notebook. If you are, if you need that for points, um, you will have your evaluation sheet for the lab here, right? So at the top, you can include the name of the coffee samples that you're saying is unknown one, unknown two. Okay. Um, next, you're going to attach your standard curve like we've done in the past, and then here is the table for calculating the um, standard solutions. And so um, this basically is your work for that. Down here is gonna be the measurement for the recordings of the absorbances of all the solution, the standard solutions from UV Vis spectro photometer. And then we have our um, calculations that you're gonna show here. So you got your trend line from your equation to report, calculation of your unknown, um, that would be um, from the trend line and then this would be your conversion that I just showed you on the board from molarity to mass percent All right moving on down uh, we have the concentration that you're reporting for coffee number one and then coffee number two the percent that you calculated for coffee sample one and coffee sample two and then your more molar absorptivity so if you don't remember what that is make sure you um, review that before you do this lab and then of course you are authenticating that this work was done on your own. You do not seek help from anyone else or uh, this should be added here online sources since you're working on this at home. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know and I will do my best to help you. Okay. Okay, so for those of you that are doing in lab for this lab on the um, determination of caffeine in the coffee sample. I just want to give you some information you can record in your notebook. So there is 1.25 times 10 to the minus third mol molar um, of the caffeine. That's the stock solution. And then here are all of the standard solutions already made. I already got them poured out into the cuvettes to measure to be measured. The first one is B. That's the blank. That's just water. And then solution one, two, three, four. You can see that they're all pretty. Um, clear solutions with just the caffeine molecule in there. Okay, here is the setup that was used to prepare the coffee um, samples. The one on the left is the McCafe, and that one is almost done being made. So the McCafe, um, we had 1.013 grams of coffee that was uh, weighed out, and I just used actually a Keurig cup, and I cut it open and I weighed out that mess and I put it in the top of the filter there and poured 50 milliliters of hot water through it. So you can see almost the 50 mils is passing all the way through. So that will be in my first coffee sample. And then my second coffee sample is the Green Mountain breakfast blend, it's a decaf. Um, that mass that is in that filter right now is 1.002 grams. And I will be pouring 50 milliliters, 50.0 milliliters from a graduated cylinder of hot water through that very shortly here and then we will have our coffee samples that will then be analyzed with our standards. Okay so I have run the standards. I did not run the coffee samples yet but I ran the standards so I turned the lights off in the lab because it was a little glary. Um, this is the spectra for the standards. Okay so the red starting with uh, standard one, and then the blue, green, and then orange, okay? As you're going down. And you can get all the information there that you need. Right down here are the absorbance values. I went ahead and labeled the solution concentrations for you. 
and hopefully you can see that last one there that has the blue highlighted on it. I couldn't take that off. Okay, so there's all of your data from the spectrophotometer and you have everything for in-lab that you need to record and then um, now we'll run the coffee samples. Alright, so the coffee samples have been run or have been ran. Have been ran? Run? Okay, so um, the, these peaks at the top up here, these are the coffee samples and the purple line is the uh, McCafe and then the the green line, although it doesn't look green on the video screen, um, the second, it kind of looks orangish there, is the Green Mountain. So the values for those samples, I have them labeled here um, for the absorbances, you can record. Okay. Alright, so I just got done running um, some more coffee samples. You may need this information, you may not. Okay. So the first um, line on the top up here that looks orange, but it's actually um, yellowish, is this one right here. So this is the McCafe coffee sample, and I diluted it one milliliter of the stock coffee in a 50 milliliter flask. So I put one milliliter of the coffee into a 50 milliliter flask and filled it to the line, and I measured its absorbance. Okay, if you need that, you, you might not. Um, I took the Green Mountain coffee, which is the red one here. It's the red one up there. And I did the same thing. I took one milliliter of the Green Mountain stock coffee. Where's my finger at here? I can't. There. Of the stock coffee, and I put it into a 50 milliliter flask and filled it to the line. So I diluted it just in case... Um, you thought that we needed it diluted. Okay, and then I also did another dilution. Again, you may need it, you may not. I'm trying to get the blue, the blue line on a different... Okay. Um, I took the McCafe sample and I did a second dilution. Okay, so I took five milliliters of the dilution one uh, McCafe sample. So I just ran this coffee sample here, dilution one from the stock coffee. That sample of dilution one, I took that same sample and I took five milliliters of it and I put that in a 10 milliliter flask. Okay, so this McCafe sample, I took five milliliters of that and made up another one here that looks the, like the pink color. Five milliliters of that dilution one coffee sample and put it in a 10 milliliter flask. And so there is um, that information there if you need that. Okay, so I think that concludes everything you need for the lab. When I did the coffee dilutions, it pretty much cleared up the sample. They almost look colorless or almost completely clear. And now you should have everything you need to complete the lab. Please let me know if you have any questions.